So what does the Twitter network look like for hashtag APSA 2016 from August 31st and September 1st, 2016? Well, right now it looks like women also know is quite influential along with APSA tweets. Now, if you look at the colors, these designate neighborhoods of discussion. Uh, the size of the text indicates eigencentrality, which basically means the influence of that node based on the influence of the nodes they are connected to. So clearly women also know is reaching out to a number of different neighborhoods. I set the graph density at three to determine the modularity class. APSA tweets, uh, a larger node, which means it has a higher degree of tweets coming in and out. And it's also reaching a number of different neighborhoods of discussion. Kind of a cool look here. Uh, something I did note, and not surprisingly, Christina Wolbrecht is serving as a bridge between hashtag women also know and our friend Nate Silver 538 and everybody's favorite monkey cage blog. So this is just kind of a cool 3D representation of what's going on around hashtag APSA 2016 on the first two days of the American Political Science Association Convention in Philadelphia. On a side note, if some of these mentions earn me one of those cool stickers, that would be great. Never hurts to dream. My name is Eric Vorst, and I'm presenting my research as an eye poster here at the convention. It's titled Trolling Twitter, Social Network Polarization in the 2016 GOP Primary Elections. You can find this at any of the iPoster touchscreens located throughout the conference and just search for Trolling Twitter. If you have any questions about my research, just click on the contact author button at the bottom right hand corner of the iPoster. Thanks for taking a look and I can't wait to see what the Twitter networks give us on day three of the convention.